Hello everybody, I just wanted to drop in and do a quick review of Alexander Nikitin's book about Evgeny Vasyukov, one of the great attacking Soviet players. And I'm going to be mostly critical in this review, but I'm doing so with the hope of offering some constructive criticism. Uh, the first thing that I want to say is that in contrast to Nikitin's other books about Kasparov, which were written really at a time when he didn't have access to the computer, and where the thinking behind those books was done without the computer. This book really suffers from the computer. What we really have is an old guy who suddenly understands that he can turn the computer on and wants to do so out of a sense of uh, completeness, right? The sense of, I want to get everything right. I want to get to the truth. And... Um, that's, it's a really unfortunate thing. I understand the impulse. It's a problem that a lot of other books have at the moment. So instead of getting some insights into uh, Nikitin's friend, long, lifetime friend Vasyukov, uh, we get kind of a bunch of games, many of which are great, um, with computer annotations, with little things like uh, in parentheses 0.33 or minus 0.45, you know, these computer evaluations of positions that aren't really going to help me understand anything about the game. And I want to say something really obvious here. Um, as a reader, of course, I can turn the computer on. And, you know, if you publish a book in 2020, you, maybe someone's going to read in 2030, and their computer's going to be better than yours. So what is the point, you know? And let me just say another thing that's kind of obvious. Chess books and books in general are having a rough time of it. My friend uh, Fidel Corrales Jimenez, that guy, he's never even read a chess book. He's just done chess space and stockfish for all of his life. And that's what a lot of the younger generation is about. So if books are going to make it, they have to add something to instead of just presenting a game with cursory computer notes. Um, and that's difficult now, especially because once you see the computer evaluation, it's hard to put uh, into words like the clear thinking, clear words, clear prose about what's going on in the position. And that's what is lacking from this book. As an example, I'll show this position uh, where after B takes C4, I, you know, as a human was sitting there at my board, I've studied all these games without the computer. And um, then in the Keaton's notes, he says, well, Rook A3. Rook A3 is the move which uh, you have to find in order for white to justify the position. And I can tell right away, I can say for sure, that's not the move that Vasyakov had in mind, right? It's just not what was going on in his thought process. So um, that's a clear example of something where the computer is just misleading. Uh, and it's a pretend game if you think humans are going to play Rook A3. Okay, just a couple final thoughts. I wish that I had gained a sense in a book like this of a little bit about who Vasyakov was. I don't feel like I got that sense. For example, um, the guy peaks at 45. Very interesting. Very interesting. Can we say more about how that happened? Clearly a lot of the pictures, you know, I see you can tell that he was an alcoholic. And a lot of these guys, the Soviet guys, especially the ones that I played here in the United States when I was a kid, were also alcoholics. And, I, you know, there's nothing about that struggle. There's nothing about what I imagine must have been, you know, some kind of state subsidy in Soviet times to then the transition to, uh, you know, post Gorbachev era, what happened to those chess players. His story would have been an interesting insight for me into just what happened with those guys. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it there, and I think I just want to conclude with the admonition that it's hard to create uh, chess books now that will add something beyond uh, what Stockfish is going to say. And that, I think, is the challenge, and I think it begins in clear chess thinking, human chess thinking, that you can write out and say, right? Write out and communicate to your audience. All right, bye-bye.